Hey Scorpio, welcome to my channel, Madison Intuitive Tarot. In today's reading, I'm taking a peek into your romantic love life for the week of May 2023. I already did your May Love Monthly read, so this one is gonna be a little bit of a snapshot, so it's not gonna be as long as the other reading was. All right, so let's do this. Spirit, who's heading towards Scorpio this week with romantic intentions? How will they truly feel about Scorpio? What's their true intentions with Scorpio? and their actions. I also wanna get Scorpio's feelings for them and what are some of the possible setbacks or challenges they may encounter with this person, the outcome for the week, and Scorpio's advice. Scorpio, today, love, May 2023, what do we have for their weekly update? Two more shuffles. Ah, one and two, almost lost those cards. Let's rock this deck for my beautiful Scorpios. Okay, so the person that's heading towards you this week, what will their true feelings for you be? We have the Two of Cups. Cancer had this card in the exact same position. So some of you guys could be connecting with a Cancerian, okay? But this is a good card to get as someone's feelings. So they care about you a lot. What's their intentions with you this week? The Two of Swords. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Two of Swords as their intentions, but they feel the Two of Cups. Is this person playing hard to get, or is this person like avoiding making a very important decision for the future of your relationship? Repeated twos are decisions. This person could have a Moon in Libra, Cancer in Venus. What's their actions with you this week? The Knight of Pentacles. So this is someone that's dedicated to following through with something with you. But right now, it's like they're, they're taking their sweet-ass time in involving something, Scorpio. They're taking their sweet-ass time. Whether it's communicating with you if they've been ignoring you for a bit or, you know, bringing you guys closer. There's something that they're taking their time on. And I will find out what this is, okay? What's your feelings for them this week? Three of Cups. So right now this person could be a friend of yours that you want to take to a more romantic stage or they might be a friend of yours that you are sleeping with but you want an actual relationship from them. There's something about your energy where you feel like this person is someone that you get along great with. You guys have a, a great time. You know, you are, you know, friends first, it feels like. I am seeing a faceless person right here, so I don't know if there's another person in the way or you've got a choice between two different people. Let me just look at the challenge. What's the challenge for these two this week? We have the Eight of Pentacles. All right, that's Earth energy coming through. The potential outcome for the two of you this week? The Lovers, major for Gemini. And look, there's three different hands in this reading or uh, in this photo. Does some of you have a choice between another person? And if there's no other person that's external to the two of you in this relationship, um, this person is procrastinating, you know, making this connection, you know, an exclusive relationship, okay? But it looks like it's heading that way. What's your advice with this person? Queen of Swords, speak your truth to this person. Don't hold back. If you've got something to say to them, say it. Because it might be something that helps move this connection further along because I feel like you got someone that dawdles or is a procrastinator or likes to put things off until a later day because this person is giving me the energy of oh I'll, I'll deal with that tomorrow I promise oh no I'll deal with it next Sunday I swear that's the energy I get off of the two of swords with the knight of pentacles someone that wants to follow through but they're taking their you know sweet time for example the two of swords to the knight of pentacles re reminds me of me around tax season <laughs> I knew I was going to do my taxes. I knew it, but I was procrastinating until it was getting close to the deadline. That's that's the energy of the Knight of Pentacles to the Two of Swords. You know you're going to do it, but, you know, stalling. What's the overall energy? The King of Cups. There's a lot of love that's being developed between you and another person, Scorpio. I feel it. Whatever your feeling inside, I feel like it's matched with this person. 
because the two of cups is a mutual relationship it's mutual feelings you know I love you you love me I hate you you hate me if the two of cups was in reverse and I got that same message off of cancer's reading so you might have cancer in your chart or you're dealing with a cancer but um the king of cups to the ace of wands as the overall energy is telling me that you inspire somebody someone inspires you there's great chemistry there's great potential someone's got that paintbrush in their hand with every possibility to create a relationship that they want out of it but someone's someone's being very emotionally controlling right because the king of cups the king of cups is someone that's very emotionally controlled you know doesn't you know wear their heart in their sleeve doesn't open up easily feels deeply yes but doesn't always feel necessary to open up um, hmm king of cups ace of wands all right so I'm gonna dig in and see what's going on so for starters Scorpio this person feels the two of cups for you this is the energy of adoring you, loving you. If this is someone that, that you just now met and it's too soon for unconditional love to be felt on both sides, this is the energy of I like you a lot. Why the Two of Cups? Why the Two of Cups? The Ace of Swords. This person is feeling like you are um, their truth. You know, the Ace of Swords to the Two of Cups is this energy of Badison, I met Scorpio, I feel like they are my true soulmate. True soulmate, okay? I, I, I want them. I would like to get closer to them, all right? I feel like this is someone that is, you know, aligned with me. But something is stressing me out and I don't know what to do about it, Nine of Swords. Something about my past, Six of Cups. So there's something about this person's past that is stressing them out, Six of Cups, Nine of Swords, okay? Or something that happened between the two of you in the, in the recent past, Six of Cups, Nine of Swords, all right? That could be interfering with new love, Ace of Cups. So there's, there's great emotions coming through this reading, Scorpio, but there's also a lot of sword energy which, you know, influences the mind right and when the nine of swords is here it's telling me that someone is really struggling with clearing their head in regards to what to do here about a situation and when you're when you're caught up in two different minds about what to do you don't make any decisions at all to a swords you know it's like someone's struggling with you know being true to themselves true to what they want there's something that this person is stressing about and it's making it hard for them to give to you the way that they want to. But they want to, they're going to with the Knight of Pentacles. And I see it in the outcome, but I don't know, we'll see. In your feelings for them, we have the Three of Cups. I'll get another card on their feelings for you in a few moments. I just wanna see if you guys are on the same page in regards to your feelings. Because we just saw the Ace of Cups a moment ago. So the Two of Cups plus the Ace of Cups equals the Three of Cups, you know? You're like one level ahead of them, it feels like. Why the Three of Cups for how Scorpio feels about this person? Why the Three of Cups? Something about October might mean something to you, Scorpio. Because I'm looking at all those pumpkins, and pumpkins are usually like prevalent during October, November, or even September. Why the Three of Cups? Six of Cups. Ten of Pentacles, King of Wands, Leo energy. There's something that, you know, you feel is very familiar to you and this person. It's like, Scorpio, you may feel like this person and you go way, way, way back, even if you just met six months ago. There's a feeling of familiarity attached to you and this person. This person may be a part of your soul family. You know, the group of souls that you go from one lifetime to the next, you know, going through lessons together, exchanging roles with each other. Like in this lifetime, this person's possibly meant to be your husband and you their wife or whatever the case may be. But in a past life, maybe you guys were brothers and sisters. There's like a family energy that you feel off of this person. Okay. Or for some of you, there may be a situation involving family that's making things complicated or children. 
All I know is you feel something deep with this person. You feel something long term. You feel like you've known them all your life or you could know them for the rest of your life. Wow, this is getting very deep. And that King of Cups is what I was picking up on earlier. There's something deep about the two of you together. And this person knows it, but they're ignoring it at times with that Two of Swords. Yeah, this person could definitely have Libra in their moon placement. Sounds about right. So, the blockage here is the Eight of Pentacles. Let's find out why. Make sure my camera is letting you see all the details. I just got this tarot deck um, of, like several days ago and it's so beautiful, man. Why the Eight of Pentacles? Why the Eight of Pentacles? Why the Eight of Pentacles? Why the Eight of Pentacles as a block? It's someone may work too much or they're not putting in effort. What's the Eight of Pentacles? King of Cups. Someone's got repressed emotions for you, Scorpio. You're not the one doing it. It's them because their intentions is the Two of Swords. You're over here like, no, I want to get closer to this person like yesterday. You know, we have the King of Cups as the overall energy, so we already know that there's emotions there. But when it comes in the blockage, again, it's tell telling me repressed emotions. You know, when I read the blockage position, Scorpio, I read the energy in reverse. And the King of Cups in reverse, along with the King of Cups in the upright right here, tells me that someone has great emotions for you, but they're keeping them repressed. They are choosing to ignore expressing those feelings for some reason. Maybe they expressed their feelings to someone in the past and they got rejected, or the person that, that they thought they loved ended up hurting them worse than anyone had ever hurt them. Or they don't know what's going on with you if you've got like a past situation in your life that's still impacting you. There's something about repressing emotions that's making it difficult for someone to put in the, the effort that they would like to put in. So they're distracting themselves with their work or hobbies or everything to get them off of thinking about you. And I picked up on that earlier with the Two of Swords. You know, when you look at this artwork, someone's needing to do their work, whether school work or actual work work, and they're playing with their pens and pencils. They're distracted by your phone call and trying to decide, do I ignore Scorpio's phone call or do I focus on my work or do I just play with my pens? You know, it, it, it's that energy. I even see this person dueling on their notepad. Like, with all the intentions of focusing on, on something, but being distracted and not getting anything done, you know? I feel like this person has a choice to make and it involves being more emotionally expressive because they feel it. It's clear that they feel it, but they're being nervous about it at Night of Pentacles for some reason or they have a long journey to get to you in some regard. I mean, I was picking up on like distance for somebody here. Um, I didn't say it earlier, but I felt it. And now I'm looking at this Two of Cups and it shows me someone purchasing a home. So I don't know if someone lives at a distance and they have to purchase a home to get closer to you or someone, I don't know, someone's selling a home and is really distracted with that and can't focus on the love connection right now. There's something going on. Knight of Swords, Four of Wands. But when you think about the King of Cups, sometimes you'll see the King of Cups in a, in, in a boat in the ocean and the King of Cups is sitting above the water and the water below with all the fishes in the sea. So sometimes someone could be struggling with knowing that there could be other fish in the sea and not wanting to touch their emotions for the person that they're connecting to in case that there's someone else out there for them. So they're keeping their energy above the water, above the emotions. But someone's struggling with you know, ignoring those feelings. You can't ignore a Two of Cups connection. You can't ignore a lover's connection. You just can't. No matter how much you try to push it into the surface, it's going to keep on popping back up eventually. Just like with the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords is the energy of, of sweeping something underneath the, the rug and, you know, hoping to hide it. But after a while, that rug is going to get bumpier and bumpier, bumpier where you can't walk over any anymore. You can only suppress your feelings for so long someone's suppressing their feelings for you for some reason so in their intentions with you Scorpio we have the two of swords let's find out more about this why is the two of swords this person's intentions with Scorpio this week their intentions is to ignore their feelings why the two of swords the tower 
Scorpio energy. I just said a moment ago, the more you suppress something, the more it's gonna come to the surface anyway, like a freaking popcorn machine. It pops internally and then all of a sudden that, that lid comes off and you got popcorn all over the place. You know, they're, <laughs> they're not gonna be able to hide their feelings for so long. Now, if you're talking to this person on a daily basis and things seem to be going good, you guys are getting closer, you guys feel that love, and you're just waiting for them to say those three magical words, um, this, this person's a tough cookie, you know? I feel like this is someone that will show you they love you in acts of service like the King of Cups does, whether that's kiss your forehead after having some, you know, intimate times or they'll hug you from behind, or you know, want to make sure that you're eating healthy. There's something that the King of Cups does in a action-oriented way without having to verbalize it. I feel like your person struggles with words. Not that they can't talk, but they struggle with getting those words out when they feel something special for somebody. And then there's the chariot, which is a confirmation that some of you may be at a distance from somebody. But if that's not the case, someone is, struggling with their confidence right now and how they come towards somebody. Because remember, I'm clarifying the, the intentions. This person is intending to come towards you, but that tower is leaving them feeling unstable about it. Could be a cancer. And then there's the fool. Someone's on a journey to have a new start here, but they're keeping all their plans a secret with that high priestess. Hold on, I'm shedding. Okay, so in their actions towards you, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Somebody may be working out a lot to distract themselves or someone's attracted to someone's physical body because they work out so much at the gym. Because I'm looking at this gym and someone's really health conscientious. Or someone listens to their earbuds and listens to music while they're at the gym and romantic songs come on and they think about the other person. The Five of Cups wanted a hot belt. So this person may be sad about something too. There's something that they're sad about. Now, if this is someone that you're not communicating with right now because they're choosing to ignore you or vice versa, someone's sad about it, but they're still not doing anything about it. It's like someone that wants to pick up the phone, but is like, I can't do it, you know? So if you've been in recent no contact with somebody, whoever this person is that you're in no contact with is eager to pick up the phone and reach out, but they're stopping themselves. Why the Knight of Pentacles as actions? The Hanged Man, look at that. The Hanged Man to the freaking Knight of Pentacles, are you kidding me? That's like, ugh. I call the Knight of Pentacles my geriatric horse for a reason. It's the slowest freaking knight that gets the, to the finish line, but it's the only knight that actually makes it to the finish line. But when you combine that slow energy with the, with the hanged man, oh man, someone is feeling like this connection has been put on pause, like by the universe. Like someone feels like the universe keeps on like getting involved and making it where things don't go as quickly for the two of you and something seems to be always dragging feet. If you're in my, if you're in like a temporary separation situation from this person, it feels like it was ordained by spirit, so that way two people can work on themselves separately and heal whatever they need to heal related to one's past. Because you both got the six of cups. I put, I picked up on the six of cups earlier. It didn't come out as a main card that I clarified this person with, but I did see it when I was clarifying their feelings. And then you ended up getting the six of cups. So something about you both's past that you guys are ignoring and you're needing to release with that hanged man in order for you guys to have your truth together. And then we have the lovers as the potential outcome. Some of you guys may be in a open relationship with somebody, a polyamorous, polyamorous, I think I said it right, I'm not sure, where there's, you know, open love with more than one person. Okay, everyone's love life is gonna be different. Why the lovers, card? why the lovers? The lovers, wow, look at that. That's a, that's a double confirmation that you and this person have great love for each other and something's gonna bring you guys closer together, but something may be keeping you guys temporarily at a, at a distance while someone releases something, whatever that means. But there's three people in this photo and then two energies in this one. So whatever decision someone's needing to be making that they're procrastinating on, that decision will be made 
and two people are going to get closer together. And this is strong Gemini energy. Page of Wands, a new, a new, um, a new burst of energy for two people. Like if you guys lost your momentum a little bit because things were starting to get too slow and staticky, um, someone's going to feel like there's some sort of new spark up ahead. Chariot again. Someone definitely has to travel. Anyways, your advice is the Queen of Swords. I'm going to get another card on their feelings in a second. Can I get a card on Scorpio's feeling or advice? Why the Queen of Swords? Cancer got the Queen of Swords as their advice too. I'm getting strong cancer influence, so I don't know if cancer season is important to you or you're connecting with a cancer or why the Queen of Swords? Something about June and July. Five of Wands. If you're fighting with this person right now, they want you to speak your truth when they talk to you. Don't hold back saying what you really need to say because the Queen of Swords only talks about what is facts, what is truth. You know? So I feel like you might have someone that likes to avoid discussions that feel like confrontations it's a defense mechanism to just disappear and just like stress themselves out unnecessarily for some of you you got someone that has struggles with conflict or struggles with face-to-face -face confrontations so give me another card on this person's feelings for Scorpio and then I'll get the overall energy and then if you're in a no contact situation I'll pull your person's hidden feelings why the two of cups and the ace of swords for this person's feelings for Scorpio The magician, they want to create something with you. They feel like you guys have what it takes to create something and the magician is ruled by planet Mercury and Mercury controls thoughts and communication. So if this person's not talking to you, how the hell are you gonna freaking create something if communication is not there? And I got the Ace of Wands on the bottom and then I got the Five of Cups. So someone's feeling sad about something. Why is the Ace of Wands and the King of Cups the overall energy for Scorpio and this person? Someone here, I feel like is watching their rising placement. I'm strongly getting that. So someone here is watching their Scorpio rising placement. Uh, so you could be a Leo sun, you could be a Gemini sun, or yeah, and I'm getting strong Libra. Ten of Wands. Remember how I was talking about that popcorn analogy where the popcorn's popping inside and then the lid comes off? Look at this art depiction. Something, something bursting. Those suppressed emotions bursting. Okay, someone's feeling mighty burdened about something. I'm strongly getting that someone was also holding on to something very toxic, whether a person that needed to be someone's ex or there was a third party situation going on here that someone was protecting, but someone was protecting something that was not good for them and it may have come in between this connection, whether on your end or their end or the both of you. Because I'm strongly getting you both have something from your past that's interfering with this present situation or there's children involved, making it difficult for someone to leave one situation for the next. I don't know. It's gonna be different for everybody. If you're in a recent no contact or no contact in general, I like, I like to not go past a year. Um, but for Zodiac, so you could be dealing with, I got Gemini energy here. I have um, Cancer energy, Pisces, Virgo, Scorpio, um, Leo, and Libra. Hit a message for Scorpio and the one on their mind, please. Time passes, but my feelings don't change even though you no longer trust me with your heart. For some of you, it has been a little bit of time since you guys have, you know, picked up the phone and talked to each other, but the love is still there. It's just the energy of you, your connection being in suspension right now. Maybe Spirit wanted you guys to stay apart to work on your healing individually and then be ready for each other. I feel like I abandoned you and myself when we broke up. I want to reconcile. The distance between us is killing me. I long to hear your beautiful voice again. I was getting distanced this entire time. Some of you guys, long distance affected your relationship. And for some of you, this person thinks you have the most beautiful voice ever. I cheated you out of real love. I ghosted you because of my own insecurities. Yeah, I picked up on that earlier. You can't ignore the Two of Cups lover's energy though. So if this person goes to you because of their own insecurities, which I saw earlier with the Nine of Swords, um, it's a ticking time bomb. 
they can't suppress those feelings for, for much longer. All right, so I hope this reading helped. If it resonated, please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl. And if it didn't resonate, can you give me A for effort? <laughs> Just kidding. Um, if you would like to book a private reading with me, Scorpio, the link to my website can be found in the description box below of this video. For anyone who's wanting to know what deck I was using, it's called Out of Hands or Out of Your Hands Tarot. I got it off of Etsy. Really beautiful artwork. All right, so later, Gators.